this YouTuber that I loved when I was younger, this woman, Colleen Ballinger, was mm-hmm. canceled for like grooming or having inappropriate relationship with fans or whatever. But on top of that, people were sort of looking back at like clips from her old comedy shows where she would perform as the Miranda Sings character, shows that I went to a few times as a child. And people are like, it was weird that she was doing sexual stuff on stage when she had an audience that was young. It was weird that she was, you know, make, doing comedy with like innuendo or whatever. And it's like, it's odd that people look back on that that are my same age and feel victimized. When people look back at Shane Dawson videos and they're like, ew, he was gross for making this joke about fucking a kid or whatever. It's like, they look back on that and they feel victimized in hindsight over a video that was posted 15 years ago, a show that was staged seven mm-hmm. years ago, whatever. That nobody cared about that at no- the time. Yeah, exactly. But when I look back at the things, I think, God, isn't it great that <coughs> I was consuming all of this like kind of gutsy and ballsy and sort of like, even if, if it was tacky, even if I look back on it and I'm like, Heterodox it, was, media. it was bad. Even if I look back on it, I'm like, well, that wasn't even funny. It's like, at least I was consuming some form of video art or like live stage work. And I, that I look mm-hmm. back on it. I'm like, that inspired me to be a comedian. And those were the building blocks that, you know, showed yeah. me the kind of work I wanted to make when I was younger and the kind of work I want to make now. It's like, I don't feel victimized by those things in hindsight. I feel I'm like, isn't it great that I have this like recorded history of all these things? Yeah, but I, I don't even loved. think that they truly and genuinely feel victimized. I think that they, they think don't. that's how they think they should yes, feel. They think that's what's right to feel. Yeah. But I look back on those things and it's like, I look at the Miranda Sings shows that I went to in like 2014, 2015 when I was, you know, but a, fucking cum drop on my dad's balls and i think (laughs) and i'm like yeah maybe i look back on it now and i'm like i wouldn't laugh at the miranda sings character on in youtube videos now but it's like you know i got to go see like live comedy shows Mm -hmm. and i got to laugh at something that felt a little racy it was what do you think racy but what do you think about the uh sort of the status of comedy today seeing as how there is such a prohibition against transgression of any kind. Here's the thing. I think that, like, there is a lot of interesting work always being done in comedy. Yes, a lot of it's kind of banal and boring. 